first thing you must always think of and know as an artist is that people are not really buying your style, they're buying the story behind what you're painting. And so you must always think about what do you want this painting to do? As you're making this piece of art, not just the painting, as you're making this piece of art, what's the function, what's the motive? Do you want to transfer pain? Or do you want someone to relate with an experience that you've been through or you've healed from? You know, uh, it's so important to have these times of uh, immersive learning and immersive collaborative learning where we come together to think together, to practice together. Because in doing that, there is a cross-pollination of ideas as well as exchange of experiences um, and that way we can actually learn from one another. Everything is not taught in art school. In order to gain my ground and be established as a visual artist, it is important that I put all of the knowledge that I've acquired through this residency into practice. Many things are taught, but then there are so many things that are, that are caught. And to catch such things, you need to be able to work collaboratively, think together, as I said, work together. I have other resources as an artist, not just my paintbrush. There are other things I can do to build myself, to improve my skill, my technique, and networking, relationships, and all of that. I think I can even begin now to appreciate art all the more.